Hey guys, welcome to Excel Tutorial Channel and another or last episode of Excel Lookup Formula and Function in Excel. In this episode, we are going to learn one more important function which is called XLOOKUP in Excel. If you have three Excel 365 or Excel 2021, you should use XLOOKUP instead of traditional VLOOKUP because of its additional advantages or it's also the easier or flexible to use. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do it because you are going to learn so much about Excel and its functionality in upcoming days, years or months. Or you can also log on to exceltutorial.net for the same. Let's get started. So here we have a very basic sheet which we have also covered in previous videos like VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP or INDEX MATCH COMBO. So here we have a sorting table like all those videos and we have some tables to fill as you can also see that we have horizontal data here and and to cover each and every functionality of xlookup or scenarios we have covered this video in different parts so first part will be the basics of xlookup in the basics of xlookup we are going to look up for the last name on the basis of row number here so we have a row number here and the row number are here so last name is here and you must be wondering why we are not finding first name first you are going to get that in upcoming minutes so here we have a last name to find on the basis of roll number so how we are going to do that we are going to do that with the help of xlookup and to understand any function i have already told you before you just go on and type it out in your worksheet and understand its argument so here we have a three main arguments of xlookup first is the lookup value lookup array and then return array and we have also the three optional argument which you are, can discover in between brackets so first will be the xlookup value the lookup value will be the row number here and you should make it an absolute reference using f4 key why because if your data isn't moving anywhere or you it's not a dynamic function or formula you should use the app f4 key to lock down that value so it just won't move or apply down to towards the following cells so where does this row number lies will be our next argument which is lookup array this and make it absolute also it's optional step but it just give you the extra edge to your skills so comma will open the third argument which is return array so last names array will be this just make it an absolute reference and in the next part we don't need those parts right now but we are going to cover in upcoming minutes just close it down the parenthesis and let's see if we find our solution yes we find our last name which is D'Souza here and whenever we just change the row number here it just changed the last name of the same okay so hope you understand the basics of xlookup and you must have known this by now if you have watched our lookup functions overview video where we have covered all these so in the next part we are going to uncover left lookup using xlookup function traditionally as we know vlookup's only limitation is it only looks to the right not looks to the left traditionally vlookup looks to the vertical and to the right as we know and that's its only limitation because it doesn't look to the left and to resolve that we have another function which is index match so if you are not on newest version of excel you should watch that index match combination function to resolve the same and to resolve this first name we have a left lookup scenario how because we are going to find first name on the basis of last name not on the basis of row number because if we get the basis of row number so first name is on the right of the row number and first name is towards the left of the last name so it will fulfill our left lookup criteria in this particular example so let's just type it out xlookup function so lookup value will be this close and make it an absolute reference so lookup array will be the last name this make it absolute so return array will be this make it an absolute also and close the parenthesis and there you go so that's how you can use 
XLOOKUP to perform left lookup in Excel. So in the next part to find the email here, we are going to learn horizontal lookup using XLOOKUP. As we know, for the horizontal lookups, traditionally we use HLOOKUP function. And but in this, to find the email part here, we are going to use this particular horizontal range to find the email here. Okay. In traditionally, we use HLOOKUP and now we have the power of XLOOKUP. So we don't need different functions to perform the same. So here we have a lookup value, which will be this. Okay. So we are using this table, not this table. Okay. And make it a absolute that's depend on you, but it's standard practice and lookup array will be this here and make it absolute also and the return array will be this make it absolute reference also and close it down the parenthesis let's see if it does revert back our correct answer yes it does so that's how you can perform horizontal lookup in excel so in the next part we are to uncover the not found error so you must be wondering we don't have a any error in this worksheet but let me just give you an array i know i'm just doing deliberately so just understand the situation because we are just going to cover the scenario of not found and there you go we got the errors here <laughs> because we don't have a 14th row number and to uncover such errors using those traditional formulas which is the vlookup or hlookup we use a helper function like if error is error etc right but in this we already have an argument here which gives us the power to enter any text string in place of those errors so if we just add a comma here here we have if not found and you can enter any text string here in place of those errors or you can say to cover those errors so to cover those errors you just need to enter any text string so i will just say not found it should be in between the code and uncode close the parenthesis let's see oh yes it just revert back those text strings you have entered so you can do the same here like this and also here like this so hope you understand how to cover such errors or you can say not found values in your worksheet next part will be the multiple values using xlookup function so what does it mean so here we have a sorting table here which you can see 1 2 13 row number so we can if your headers are same or you can say your lookup value headers are same you can apply those values automatically using xlookup function so how so what our solution will be our solution will be whenever i just click two here so all these value will be automatically filled in these three cells how with the help of xlookup function so you must be wondering how and let's resolve that question here first you need to enter a lookup value here right so lookup value will be this which is a2 and where does this lookup lies lookup lies in this and now the return array so if we want all these three values in the return array part we just need to select all these three ranges here or you can say three columns here and and close it down the parenthesis click enter so see the magic here all those multiple values are automatically applied to the next cells here so whenever just i just browse another so there you get it we get all those values automatically using xlookup function now by now you must be wondering this function is so powerful and it resolves so many different scenarios at the click of the button i know i understand your emotion right now but it's actually very powerful function whenever you're going to look up any value in your worksheet so in the next part we are going to uncover the approximate match here and for the approximate match we will click on the next sheet which is approximate match one if you have downloaded this sheet with me 
so go to there and you may get all these values to be filled so here we have the scores here which is classification of grades on the basis of scores so these are the 0 33 is a 60 will be d and 70 will be c 80 will be b 90 will be a so as we know these students have scored these much marks here and to enter those grades automatically we can also use xlookup and it's one more argument which is the fifth argument to find the next smaller value in relation to the scores they have got okay so let's see if we can get it or not so we need to just apply our xlookup function here let's go so here we have a lookup value the lookup value will be the score right and now we just not need to make a row absolute we need to make a column absolute and to make that column absolute you just need to press f4 key once and then again and then again until this symbol comes before that particular column okay and the next lookup array where the scores are their scores are here and we just make it absolute and the return array will be here okay now emphasize on this part please so let's just make it an absolute reference here of both and the next argument we have if not found we don't need it because it doesn't classify in our argument so we are just going to leave it that and now we have this argument which is going to use we have an exact match which will be applied by zero no we don't need an exact match because we know our score is 59 and there is no exact match here so we just skip that part and next part is exact match or next smaller item so that's what we are going to use right why because exact match will be if our score will be like 60 it will just give it us a, a, a d grade here but if our score is 59 we should take this in our mind that it doesn't give a next closest value we don't need a closest value we need a smaller item to the 59 a smaller item will be 33 because in between 33 to 60 we have a 59 right and to select the smaller item which is 33 and this grid will be the e not d so in that case we just need to apply a minus one here and close the parenthesis let's see if we get our answer correct or not so yes we get the correct because 59 lies in e grade and it is between 33 to 50 here and if we apply to all as you can see 1990 here is a which also fulfills our argument of exact match here hope you get the point how to make approximate match using xlookup function okay so in the next part we are going to cover the last match using xlookup function by default the xlookup function performs a first to the last search which is nothing new right and to perform a last to first search we can also use minus one which we have also covered in the previous minutes or you can say previous part right so what are the situation here situation here is as you can see we have a roll number one last name of roll number seven is joseph which is right but the first name is jane no it is moreno and to resolve such stuff or you can say resolve such errors or values we can use that match mode that search mode here what are the search mode here you just need to skip that match mode right now and go to this search mode here so it says search first to the last this is to be denoted by one here and second is search last to the first that's what we want right because we want Moreno here and we want to tell xlookup to search from the last to the first such that it doesn't revert Jane here okay it just revert the Mourinho here and to resolve the same we can just enter minus one here which is search from last to the first and click enter so it says 
the correct answer which is joseph moreno but when we just select the roll number of 4 like this it just give us the moreno not the j so how to resolve such scenarios as we know it this formula uses i6 which is last name as basis why because we have covered the left lookup part in this particular example and to resolve this we need to enter or take the basis as this particular cell and this particular cell lies here right just make the absolute and we don't need these search or match more here just delete those and click enter here so you know what you got gonna get is jane joseph but if we apply a 7 here you also get your joseph which is of moreno hope you understand how to resolve such scenarios wherever you get all these duplicate values so hope you get to know the x lookup and its powerful functionality in this video so if you have learned something please click the like button if you want to learn such stuff in future you should subscribe to this channel because we are going to cover each and every detail about excel and if you want to share this to your colleague your friend or your family you can use the share button here so see you in the next video until then bye bye